What's going on creators? So today I'm going to be looking at the alert box library here in Streamlabs OBS and I'm going to show you how you can filter, install, test, and manage your alerts. So what you're going to want to do is go up here to the top left, click on this icon underneath the camera, and it's going to bring you to the library. You'll be able to then filter a few different ways. You can do it through colors and you can have multiple colors selected. You can do it through game category and you can also sort it by featured, just added, and most popular. Now to clear all this out, you're gonna to want to click out of it, click back in it. That way it clears everything if you're wanting to clear all of your filters. Now, as you can see, a lot of this stuff is behind the Prime paywall and I'll link the information about Prime in the video description below, but a whole month of Prime is gonna be $20 and a whole year is $150. So if that's not something that you want, then you can just type in free and it's gonna give you some of the options that you can use that are free. And you get about eight pages or so to kind of go through. So go ahead and take a look at them. And then once you find something you do like, then just kind of hover over it. You can kind of see what it would look like. And if it's something pretty catchy, click install widget theme. It's gonna automatically install the alert box widget for you. And we're gonna go and test it. So you're gonna click on test widget and you can test any of these just to see if it works. So as you can see right there, it shows that it's working. You can make it bigger and move it around if you need to, and you'd be good to go. But let's say you want to try something completely different. You can go back to the alert box library, type in free. And then let's say we wanted to add something like this one. So we'll install that one. And now that one is there. We're going to test it. And now you have a brand new one, which you'll then have to resize and move it around and everything like that. So down here, it's gonna show you that it's been installed and you can manage it and everything. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into the actual dashboard of Streamlabs. So in order to do that, you're gonna to go to dashboard and you're gonna to go to alert box. And then from alert box, you're gonna to go to manage themes And then it's going to show you all of the ones that you have added. So the one that's currently showing the sound wave alert box is the active one. Default is going to be the one with the zombies running. And then this is the other one that you have, or in this case for me, it's the one that I installed before. So if I want to go back, I'll click on this one. And now that one is going to be the one that's currently working. We'll do save for the changes. And once those are saved, we'll go back here, test it, and now we have that one working. And if you wanted to delete any of them, you just hover over here and just click delete. And say delete, save changes. We'll go back to Streamlabs and then we'll test it again. And there you go. And that is pretty much how you manage it, install it and everything like that. It's very simple to do. There are some more details that go into the actual alert box itself where you can mess with some of the settings. I will be going over that in a future video, but if you enjoyed today's video, if you found it helpful, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, share it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'd be happy to try to help you out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.